analyze data over relative time ranges, you can use calendar measures. Calendar measures aggregate data from a field over a time range and are saved in the measures category in the master items. For example, if you wanted to compare customer figures for the current year-to-date period to the figures from the same period for the previous year, we can use calendar measures. It is possible to aggregate fields from tables that are loaded in Data Manager or from a script in Data Load Editor. However, the date field must be from a table that has been loaded using Data Manager. To create the calendar measure, right-click on the field that you want to aggregate with the date field, then select Create Calendar Measure. Use the date field and aggregate field drop-down menus to adjust the fields you want to aggregate. Use the aggregation drop-down menu to choose the aggregation type for the calendar measure. For each time range, there are different measures that are possible. Select which measures you want to add as calendar measures, and then save them as master items. Once they are created, calendar measures are treated identically to master measures. That is, calendar measures are reusable and editable, while an app is unpublished. Users of a published app will have access to the calendar measures, but will not be able to modify them. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.